Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mandy and I like to talk about makeup, makeup panning and nail polish. So if you are interested in today's update for paranormal pantivity, then stay tuned. This is my update for Paranormal Pantivity. It is a Pantastic Ladies Collab Group project that was created by Andrea, as pretty as a peacock. It started on September 24th of 2022 and goes until September 24th of this year, 2023. You are to up, can update monthly or bi-monthly, and you are to work on six products at a time or roll them all in. Um, and yeah, I was working on, it looks like five products because I had a bad month last month and apparently didn't roll in enough to have six. So let's get into what I'm working on, what I'm rolling out and what's coming in. The first product I am working on still is for the prompt Demon, something you were tempted into buying. And that is for me is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the Ultra Glitter formula in the shade Plume. I am wearing it on the inner half of my lid. Um, every I'd heard all these great things about Super Shocks. This probably was not the one for me. Um, I have not been impressed and I'm not particularly fond of the color. Um, so I've debated passing this on and I think after this project I will pass this on to somebody else who may enjoy it more. But for me, it is not it is not the bee's knees or anything like that. Um, my goal is to use it ten times. So far, I've used it seven. I have three more uses to go. Let me know in the comments if you think I should just give up and pass this on, or if I should struggle for those last three uses. But I will give you a um, swatch of it. It does look like it's starting to crumble a little bit. Um, there is a flake floating around that I can't seem to get, but um, yeah, pink is just not my number one favorite shade, and this formula is not great, but that is what it looks like, pardon the uh, bruise on the back of my hand, but that is what it looks like. It is a pink, and it is shiny, and it is glittery, and it is not my wheelhouse. Um, so yeah, I have three uses left to go on that, and like I said, let me know in the comments if you think I should ditch it, because part of me says I've given it a good effort and I should ditch it and move on, and part of me is like, nah, I can do three more uses, so let me know your opinions and thoughts on the subject, but this is, um, Super Shock in Plume, and yeah, I have three more uses left to go on that. And I brought that in in February. So it's been in here a while. Next is for Ouija board, something that has embossing. And for that, I brought in this lipstick. It has lovely embossing on the edge of the bullet and on the packaging as well. But um, this is Ranch Girl. And I brought it in for five uses to test out the color, see if I like it, and I don't. So it is moving out of my collection. I did use it all five times and I am passing this on to somebody else who hopefully can enjoy the color more than I do. It's just too corally orange for me and not, again, not my cup of tea, not the bee's knees, but I did get my five uses out of it and it is rolling out of the project as a goal met. Next is for the prompt orbs, something that brings light to your face. For that, I brought in my newly acquired BH Cosmetics Aspen highlighter palette. It is a six shade highlighter palette from BH Cosmetics. Did I say that? Um, anyway, my goal was to use each shade once and I have done that today. I am wearing a, the blue combined with a little bit of the pe lighter pink there. Um, they are very lovely. Some of them are a little bit intense depending on what you're wearing them with and maybe not for every day, but they look fine on camera. Um, so I did use each shade once, so that is a goal met and rolling out. <laughs> the next prompt is for the Flying Dutchman, something you are doomed to pan what feels like forever. Yeah, 
And as always, it is a blush because blushes seem to last forever, apparently. Um, this is from Essence. It is the blush in shade 70 Believing. My packaging has broken, um, so I've kind of taped it on there for now. Um, this is a cool rosy pink. My goal is to use it 20 times, and so far I've used it 8. Um, just because I haven't been wearing that much makeup lately. I am wearing it today, and it is one of my favorite shades of blush. A lot of blushes I have are more warm, and this is cool. I prefer a cool tone blush. Um, but yeah, uh, I am enjoying using this, so I have, you know, uh, whatever many uses left to go on that. And then... Finally, the prompt I brought in last month was for Afterlife, something past its expiration. And I said if nail polish had an expiration, this was probably past it. This is from Formula X. It is the shade Intergalactic. It is a pink and gold glitter, silver glitter balm nail polish. I did wear this and I will insert a picture of the manicure I wore this with. My goal was to wear it just once because I wanted to test and see if it worked, and it did. It is quite thick, but it works because this is a full coverage uh, polish, um, not a topper or anything. This gave me full coverage, very textured, but um, I really enjoyed it, actually. And um, yeah, can't wait to wear this again. It'll be a while, but until then, I will enjoy it very much, and it is a goal net for this project. So I am rolling out one, two, three props. Yes. Leaving in the blush and the eyeshadow for now. And I'm supposed to be working on six. That means I'm bringing in four new products to get me back up to six because I didn't last month. So the first prompt I'm bringing in, because I'm just going down the list to get them done, is for Black Dog, and that is an animal-themed product. I don't have very many animal themed products in my collection. Sorry, I had something in my eye. Uh, so I'm bringing in my BH Cosmetics Venom palette and I am going to bring in the shade Slithering, which is this one right here, this me medium toned gray. I am wearing it today. It is in my crease and transition area. And that is what it looks like there. I'm bringing in for six uses because, you know, six is a spooky number. So they say, if you get three sixes in a row, that's not good. I mean, in some people's opinions. Anyway, the next prompt is for Domovic. And that is a household spirit in Russian folklore. Something that followed you from house to house. The only products in my collection that are old enough to have followed me from previous dwellings to this one are my nail polishes. So I am bringing in an old nail polish and I am bringing in this one here from Avon. It is in their Mirror Shine collection. It is in the shade Pol Polish Poly, P-O-L-I. Um, yeah, and it is a beautiful chromey metallic purple. I am bringing in for two uses because one is more than not enough. Um, and this is on my list of polishes I want to finish. And it is in a it is in a black uh, opaque plastic container. Um, I don't know how much polish is left in here because I can't see through it. But um, yeah, it's quite light, but it's also plastic, so who knows? Um, but I'm bringing it in for two uses, and I will enjoy it every use. And then next is for exorcism, something that you want out of your collection. And I had to stop and think about that. The only, I don't really have anything I want out of my collection. If I want it out of my collection, I'll put it out of my collection, um, like this or this. You know. But you know, we're working on it. So I decided to go with an older product that should probably be moving out of my collection soon. This is from Thrive Cosmetics. It is their Lip Fuller Lip Liner in the shade Gislin. And it is sort of a mauve neutral. And let me see how much is left. Quite a bit, actually. So that's what's left. And did I give myself a goal? Self a goal? No, we're going to try and use it 10 times. I'll give you a swatch. It is a nice neutral color. 
there's nothing wrong with it. I really enjoy it, but it has been in my collection for a while and it is my oldest lip liner. It is the first lip liner I ever had and I very rarely ever wear lip liners. So like I said, it's been around a while. I should probably get, uh, get it out of here. So I'm going to use it 10 times. Let me write that down before I forget because I didn't. And then lastly, we'll do the same on this one. All right, and then the last prompt I'm bringing in is for Tommy Knockers, and that is a spirit that lives and works in mines, and something that is named after a metal or is metallic. I am bringing in my NYX uh, Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, definitely blah 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 eyeliner in the shade Platinum, and it is a beautiful platinum eyeliner, and there it is there. It is very shiny and metallic and I am bringing that in for 10 uses as well and I will enjoy every use of that. If you uh, look at the list I did skip a prompt uh, on the list because I don't have a product at this moment for that prompt so I will come back to it but I think I'm doing pretty good. I have one, two, three, four, five, six prompts left that I have not touched yet and I have until September so hopefully I will be able to get to them all and finish them. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today. Once again, let me know what you think I should do with this ColourPop. If I should struggle for three more uses or just toss it and move on. Um, not toss it, but pass it along and move on. So anyway, um, my videos may be a little sporadic in the next couple months. This is the busiest time of the year for me as well as far as dog sitting. I'm also um, doing some personal projects and health issue items that are coming up. So if you don't hear from me now and then, I am okay, but um, I appreciate you. You can reach out anyway and um, check in on me. Anyway, this take care of yourselves is what I'm trying to say, and I'll take care of myself because that's what I'm doing, and um, be true to you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.